Welcome back to Building a House from Trees. So this week's episode's a little bit of just odds and ends. It's kind of a short episode. Um, I've got some, um, yeah, some little bits of odds and ends. Blew out a tractor tire, so show me wrestling through that. Uh, it, this video shows me wrestling through solving that little mystery. Um, and kind of just tuning up, starting to sand and route the, the posts. I think getting the last of the window, the last little double hung window in, I probably was full of citus about my uh, title last week because I'd forgotten about that. I got a week of carpentry this week, so unfortunately and fortunately, I was not able to work on the house. Um, got to make hay while the sun shines, I guess. Uh, bathtubs cost money, Renai hot water heaters cost money, so I'm, uh, I'm doing some nice interior work right now, and that's good, but uh, you know, as, as such, the, uh, the work here has not been I just haven't been able to work down here, but I think that's going to change next week. I've got some stuff laid out here, some rooms laid out, so I'm going to start doing some interior framing. That's going to be really fun. Um, I've got some exciting news for me, maybe for you too. Um, I've got some sponsorship, and I'm actually going to be, I'm not going to mention it yet, but uh, I'm going to be taking a, anyway, I'll, I think the next video that I do after this, or maybe the one after that, um, will be, uh, I'll be kind of debuting that so I'll, I'll be interested to hear your comments um, you know uh, in, in how you how you the viewers feel about it so uh, it's uncharted territory for me and we'll see I'm excited to see how it goes so thanks for watching thanks for all the comments um, I appreciate it it's warm in here it's bitterly cold out there um, but it's it's probably 50 in here right now and and that's the sun's gone down but the in exterior insulation is keeping the warmth in here and the uh, big windows are letting the light and the heat in, so it's really nice. All right, into the episode, here we go. See ya. Well, that's all of them. All the windows are installed.
Well, I keep being surprised by this, but I suppose I shouldn't be. Understanding thermal gain, and all that, but it is just wicked, wicked cold out there today. And uh, it's warm in here. It's been a bright sunny day. It's wind chills 15, 20 below zero Fahrenheit, um, but it's been sunny and there's dead air in here and there's big windows letting light in and it's warm. And the insulation isn't even in the floor yet. Uh, I got afternoon light flooding in this big stairwell window and that's gonna be really nice. That's gonna float downstairs. So we've got some of this, uh, some more of the, the tape down more deliberately laid out, um, which is pretty exciting. Some angled, uh, breaking up the 90 degree angles in here um, and kind of mixing up the rooms a little bit with open doorways, closable doorways. It's exciting. It's almost time to start framing walls. And uh, that's, that's really good. That's really exciting. So I'm happy about this layout. I think it looks good. And um, yeah, gonna have this loft space. This isn't the framing for it, but that will be about where the framing uh, is gonna be for that, lot, that sort of meditation nook for cats, basically. I'll get some in there, I think, but it's gonna be really cozy and warm up there. And uh, just space out there for the garden. The garden's gonna be growing soon. I'm gonna be starting seeds before too long. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's looking good. Spring's coming, even though it's intensely cold today, it's coming, so. All right, I'm gonna dive back into sanding some of the last, not the last, actually, just kind of started, but um, sanding the, the posts and the, the knee braces. It's a really arduous task, but it pays off. It makes makes it worth really worthwhile, and I'm doing that because um, you can see like there's all these handprints and even boot prints from when when we were putting the frame up when I was doing it, and some of the plain marks. I want to sand that out of there, and I want to chamfer all the edges so they've all got this same chamfer, and uh, with the router, and then everything sanded up here, and that way I can start framing walls up into the timber frame, so. All right, here we go. I'm gonna dive into that slow and uh, somewhat satisfying process. Uh, tractor tire is not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be a little bit taller, so. Uh, that's the thing. Unexpected costs, owning equipment. This is what happens, and it's okay. Um, it's just a matter of... Fortunately, I knew it was coming, um, and I ordered a tire, and it is in, so I'm gonna pull this off, take the chain off, get it jacked up, and then uh, take it in. And I think I can salvage that rim, or they can salvage that rim. I think it's 
Not too bad. Thank you, 350, for uh, letting me use this air power jack. I've never used it before, I've never used one before. So I'm pretty excited about it, hopefully working and being a lot easier. Okay. Well, that worked swimmingly. That's, uh, that's the way to jack things up. It's much easier than cranking by hand. Uh, now to get the chains off and get this thing loaded into this pickup truck. The fun part. God, I'm looking at you, Vreeland. You, uh, you, my feeling is that you could give me a, a hand hoisting this into the back of my pickup truck. Seems like the sort of thing that you might just kind of hoist onto the roof of my uh, house here, too, just for fun. Anyway, next time you're in Maine, give me a buzz. I need to hoist up a 300 pound tire. Yeah, that would so good. Well, that wasn't too bad. How was it?